behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. Another year without their house. A couple looking to escape the hustle and bustle of the city is making noise in a quiet suburb. They say that red tape and much more has ruined their dream home. Morning Insider Lauren Victory lays out all the allegations. We often talk about um, things that we're going to enjoy, the backyard, you know, walking in the subdivision, biking. The idea to build their own home in Burr Ridge began in 2015. We actually fell in love with the, de the development. A relaxing oasis called Falling Water. Go ahead, dear. <laughs> but Dr. Madison and Jackie Sample will tell you they had problems right out of the gate. Getting ready to pour concrete, uh, we get... Um, an immediate stop work order from the Falling Water Homeowners Association saying that uh, they never gave permission uh, for us to begin building. That was in 2018. The confused samples say their drawings and other ducks were all in a row, so they sued the Homeowners Association for interfering with their creation. That first hiccup cost us uh, five months of work. The work still isn't done. Two and a half years after breaking ground, one fight after another, delaying a dream home turned an ongoing nightmare. This fence is a big sticking point. The village slapped the samples with a stop work order in September for not having one. This is the uh, great room. But the anesthesiologist and his wife say these photos show plenty of other construction sites without a barrier built. We just want the same treatment that everybody else gets. A Burr Ridge spokesperson tells CBS2 the fence rules are relatively new and some projects are grandfathered in, but that doesn't explain the headache that followed. So they told you needed to do these things, and but they wouldn't let the people in to do it. Exactly. Correct. The samples point to this sign as an example of gate security not letting contractors in. The couple claims fence builders that would have satisfied the village's order weren't even allowed in. I'm not going to ask permission to have visitors. Gate security called police on the lot owners more than once. Is it red tape or something else? I get to the gate and I'm stopped. He gets to the gate, he's called a thug and told we just can't let any thugs in here. This tax and homeowner assessment paying couple don't feel comfortable here anymore. It's very degrading. It's embarrassing. They plan to finish the work and sell the home they envisioned so long ago. In Burr Ridge, Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Now, we gave everyone involved weeks to respond to our story. No one from the security company called us back. The property managers also ignored us. The Samples home is now on the market for $2.9 million. For more stories like this one, just download our new app and look for the section called Morning Insider.